Hi Umbraco gang, it's me Warren and today we're going to learn about uh, porting uh, events in V8 to the new notification handler pattern in V9. So uh, here I have a, a very basic site, uh, it's a simple document type with one string property, um, nothing too fancy. However, on our documentation for V8, we can see this following example. So this uh, would set up a composer and a component. And when the component is initialized, uh, we was listening for the publishing event on content service. And then in here, what was it doing? Um, so going over every entity that was published, just in case you're publishing uh, one or more nodes at the same time, say so the section of a tree. Uh, and then for each of those nodes, we're checking is it a specific um, content type, document type, uh, of a specific alias. And then on that, if it is, then we're trying to get a property um, in case a uh, new title. So this was the uh, this string here, new title. And then we're just checking um, if uh, it's in all caps. If it's in all caps, then uh, we want to cancel the event and we want to display a notification to the user that it was cancelled, no need to kind of shout. So with that relatively simple example, let's uh, see how we're going to do it in B9. So let's stop the site and let's create a new class. And I don't know, uh, don't shout call it and this is going to inherit uh, iron notification handler and then what we'll enter to get uh, the using correct using cms.core.events and then it's complaining because it doesn't know what type or notification uh, that you want to listen for uh, so we're going to try and make this easier to discover, but for now I know that this is, um, he says, content, uh, content publishing, so it's the, the kind of the service name, so to speak, and then the, the event name, so publishing, published, and then notification, and then if we all enter, we can see, yeah, this uh, specific namespace. Uh, there's talk about internally that we'll maybe have umbraco.cms.notifications just so that you can uh, use IntelliSense to discover all the notifications that are available. But for now, uh, this is uh, this is what it is. And then if I hold enter to implement the interface, just to make life easy, let's get rid of uh, unnecessary usings, get rid of the, the throw statement, then let's go and I suppose just copy this code and then see if we've got to do anything. So for each node in ePublished Entities, so if most likely just notification dot, uh, there we go, cancel is publishing messages, published entities and state Uh, we can do uh, for each node in notification published entities. If the content type alias is corporate news announcement, I know mine one starts with a lowercase. Um, then we're going to get the news title. Then we're going to go and check if it's uh, all uppercase. This can be changed to notification.cancel. Yep, equals true. And then again, I would imagine this is notification.messages.add. And let's see, new, I think we can just do new event message. Because this lives, I don't know where, I've spun out quickly what namespace it lived in. 
um, cms.core.events along with the notification handler. So I would imagine this one is just uh, event message type. Um, we've got error, we've got info, we've got success, and we've got warning. So error, we want to make sure the user knows that uh, this is not the right thing to be doing. We can add a breakpoint. Uh, so now we need to uh, notify Morocco that we have this notification handler that we want to run. So in our startup, uh, down in our configure services, uh, we have this kind of chained um, collection of services that we're building up to compose or build our Morocco application. So after add composers, we want to do add uh, notification handler. Uh, also you'll notice that we've got uh, a notification async handler. Um, so if you've got, uh, I suppose, code that needs to run async, you're checking some external uh, API or website or service um, that needs to be async, then obviously this is the, the same code that you would run, but obviously you would need to implement um, a notification async handler as opposed to a notification handler. Anyway, let's add ours um, and we are going to first property. Oh, it's not. Uh, you need to give it a type even. So we're going to give it the notification type that we are listening for. So it was content publishing notification and we'll all enter our way to success. And the second argument um, is the actual the class uh, for the notification handler that is listening for that uh, notification or event. So what did I call it? I called it don't shout. Cool. Right, that is as simple as it should be, uh, but let's test uh, to make sure what we have done definitely does work. We've got a breakpoint, um, so let's run our site. So you might have got my first page. And then if we go to the back office, and then uh, I have some exciting news. And if we do a save and publish, the notification handler uh, breakpoint uh, kicks in. Perfect. Okay, you would have thought I've learned by now, uh, or at least taken the time to configure the screen recorder to not uh, bind to F10, but I yet again totally forgot. Uh, so we'll step uh, over and we can see our node and let's just continue. We can see the, the cancelled uh, notifications that come out the box from Umbroco and then we've got our specific one that we've come from our notification handler. So that was it in a nutshell. Um, Hopefully that was super useful in terms of figuring out how to start porting from um, event handlers uh, in V8 to the notification handler pattern in V9. Uh, any questions, leave a comment down below uh, or ping me or reach me um, on Twitter uh, or email or carrier pigeon, whatever way, uh, get in touch. I'm more than happy to help. Have a good day all and keep on hacking. Laters, bye.